Good morning. Welcome to the Church of the Immaculate Conception. On this day, December 1st, we remember those who died on this day. Agnes Vosberg, 1969. Stella A. Poldowski, 1996. Ray Ranella, 2009. Mary Horton, 2016. Doris Fisker, 2017. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And your Welcome everyone to our celebration this, this Tuesday, the first, sun, the first week of Advent. May we take this time just to gather around God's Word, and around this table, as we celebrate Word and Sacrament together. And we bless everyone who comes here to celebrate on this day. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, O Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials, Grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, may we be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the pro book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall spout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. 
but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the outer's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of his peace forever. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Father except the Son, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord, my sisters and brothers. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The time we live in right now, there's a little bit of a push or squeeze or a shove that we sometimes feel right now, end of November, early December, it's to maybe hurry up and go get things done. Hurry up and be ready for Christmas. Hurry up and get all the things done that you need to get done. I'm told that some people are looking at lists and checking them twice. Maybe for us this is for so many of us a time when we're checking lists and just making sure we've got everything covered. Well, if we do that, we might miss a lot along the way. Hey, this is where Advent comes in. In fact, there's something really nice about this Isaiah reading. Gee, nice is, I don't, I don't mean to diminish the Isaiah reading, I'm calling it a nice reading. But isn't it interesting that we hear all these images here? It starts off by saying, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon us, a spirit of wisdom and understanding. Wouldn't it be great to understand a little better? Yeah. How many times do we walk away from something not quite knowing everything we feel we need to know, but we walk away because we have to walk away. There's not enough time, something else to do. Spirit of wisdom and understanding would kind of come in handy, wouldn't it? Well, without that spirit of wisdom and understanding, we'd be left just totally in the dark by some of these images, you know. Judging the poor with justice, deciding or right the lands afflicted, The wolf will be the guest of the lamb. The leopard will sit down with the kid. Really? The calf and the young lion browse together. Young children will guide them. Yeah, like that doesn't happen every day, does it? The cow and the bear will be neighbors. Together, their, their, their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay with the ox. Did I read that? Yeah. All these things just seem just so different. No. The baby shall play in the cobra's den. The child will lay his hand on the adder's lair. Yeah. Thank God the Lord will come and give us a spirit. A spirit that will give us wisdom and understanding. I mean, how else could we possibly make sense of all those images? All those things that, well, what's the phrase you hear? Oh, I wish I could unsee that somehow. You know, how could that possibly work? Well, this is why we fight the urge to exceed the speed limit during Advent. We should slow down and let the Lord's ways be with us. What was that reference in Sunday's Gospel? We are the clay, and Father, you are the potter. We are the clay of your hands, that the Lord can have time to form us and shape us. And in a case like this, with gift of wisdom and understanding, we can walk and look and take things into the heart and find where the Spirit calls us to go. Advent's a season formed and shaped 
And it will help us understand how it is possible with the Lord shaping and forming and God's love being as complete as it is, that it's possible for the cow and the bear to be neighbors. It's possible for the baby to play in the cobra's den. It's possible for the wolf to be a guest of the lamb and etc., etc., etc. That only makes sense when the Lord's wisdom is deep in our hearts and our eyes and all of our senses are open to understanding that the Lord gives. So let's take these, so let's take this time and may it be said as it said at the end of our gospel today, Jesus turns to the disciples and says, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. To take in everything the Lord is calling us to see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but they did not see it. To hear what you hear, but did not hear it. With the Lord's wisdom and understanding, during this Advent season, may all sorts and kinds of questions be opened to us and answered for us. And may that wisdom and understanding help us to walk through this season take in all the Lord has to give us and we find ourselves ready again to celebrate and give thanks for the coming of the Messiah into our lives. May we give thanks for his coming and look with great anticipation to his coming again. For our prayer of the faithful, our response during Advent will be, Come, Lord Jesus. Gracious and loving God, we place before you the desires of our hearts. And during this Advent season, with your wisdom and guidance and understanding, may we walk your ways and invite the whole world to come and rest at your side. For your people, the church, may we pray with Pope Francis for a renewal of the word all around the world. May we invite our neighbors and friends to come and share in word and sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord come, Lord, Lord Jesus. For all who are sick and all who are dying, for those who suffer from the coronavirus, Lord, may we pray for their healing and pray for their consolation. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. We pray for all those in the world who are hungry. We pray for all those in the world who are left aside. We pray for all those in the Lord who suffer in the cold. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for peace among our families in our communities, and in our parishes. We pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. And Lord, we remember your sacred dead. While it's no longer November, we pray all year long for those who are turned over to you, Lord, and are committed to your side. Today we pray for George Muller and Margaret Bowers. And we pray also for all those who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Gracious and loving God, we bring you our prayers this day and every day. Guide us, with, guide us with your Son and your Spirit, who live and reign with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory in his name. For our good, the good of all is holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. Then when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim what hath fallen until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your holy people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and with Joseph, her blessed spouse, and with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, power, and the glory are yours, yours now, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, 
and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and the fervor of the saints.
the coming of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, let us take this opportunity to pray our Norvina prayer. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary did prepare a worthy dwelling place for your Son, we beseech you that, as by the foreseen death of this, your Son, you did preserve her from all stain, so too you would permit us, purified through her intercession, to come unto you. Through the same Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, world without end. Amen. O Blessed Virgin Mary, glory of the Christian people, joy of the universal church and mother of our Lord, speak for us to the heart of Jesus, who is your son and our brother. O Mary, who by your holy immaculate conception did enter into the world free from stain, in your mercy obtain for us from Jesus a special favor for which we now so earnestly seek. O Mary of the Immaculate Conception, Mother of Christ, you had influence with your divine Son while upon this earth. You have that same influence now in heaven. Pray for us and obtain for us from him the granting of my petition, if it be the divine will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and sent into hell. On the third day he arose from the dead, ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our 
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive my sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, The scourging of the pillar. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, the crowning of thorns, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, the crucifixion, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show us unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O love, clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, O Mother of God, may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son by his life, death, and resurrection has purchased for us the eternal rewards of eternal life, grant that the step that mediating on these ministries of the most holy virgin, of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may they imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.